Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 go <laughs> Good Sunday morning, everybody We're here with Julian In Main Street Window Tent And let's get that logo in there for a shameless plug All righty Now what we're doing today is uh, we're going to do some doors. We're going to put in an old high yonker ramp. Well, high yonker, but we're going to use high yonker. And I got all this crap loaded up back here. So uh, I still ain't going to mess with the sub amps in here. I need to put the 5Ks back in. But anyway, yeah, we got a back seat full of crap. I even brought my own wire. So, anyway, I'm getting ready to pull a door panel off here. And I will show you what I've done since I've been here, which ain't much. <laughs> no sanding, no nothing. I just painted them black. So, yeah, we're getting ready to stick them on the doors. I already got the wires ran through here. I ran that when I ran, like, all the wiring for the system. So, it shouldn't be bad. Um, but who knows? Anyway, I need to get, uh, the door panels off, get them bolted to the door panel and the wire ran from under the carpet through the kick into the doors and we'll go from there guys. So anyway, yeah, we are getting ready to, we getting ready to get this shit started. But once again, that is main street window tinting in Lawrence, South Carolina. So we got the door panels off. Miss Deb's popping out the door panel clips for me. Helping out today, as always. I keep telling y'all, Deb's the VIP of the channel. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> I told him I wasn't doing no more. Yeah, she said she wasn't helping no more today. <laughs> now I got to get the uh, speakers out of there. I can't even remember what kind they are. It was part of a component set. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to get them pulled out. And then I'm going to start removing the kicks. And get my wire and ran into the door. And then we'll be golden, guys. So I'll be back. So, all right, fellas. I made my, my wires really long. I had them tucked underneath the carpet. Now they run beside that foos box there. Bam, put the kick back on. We're all good. It runs out that door. I got to do the same thing on the other side. I I'm filming for YouTube, <laughs> but uh, NVX is what it had in it. So I'm gonna I'm get off here and let Dustin film because Lord knows he don't film much. But them Celestions, if you've seen the video on them, they do have the uh, tweeter built in the center. And Hayanka sent me that amp, and I said, why not try it on these doors? So, that's what we're going to do. So, we're back. And, got the wires ran. They were just tucked under the carpet. I made them really long, and I always marked the ends of one wire. So, always do this in advance, but one wire can be tweet. One can be mid. It's also marked on the other end back there. So, but I had them pre-ran, hanging out of the other door also. And I've also already got one panel on. I just did black. That's not paint run. That's where the uh, resin ran. I said, to hell with it. I left them textured. And you know, if you get a minute a ways back, and it's so shadowed down here, you'll never notice it. But anyway, in reality, I should have went back and sanded this but i didn't even prep for coming out here till this morning and honestly i wouldn't have had time for my flex stone to dry and then paint so i just hit it with some walmart black spray paint guys like the cheap stuff in here i drilled two holes with step bits for my two wires to come through this just gives me options but i re you know use most of the factory door panel I did draw some holes in it. Uh, I did sit this on here, line it up, and draw around it with a pencil. Then I drilled holes like 
that far in from my pencil line. And then I flipped it over, lined it up, and just use that for my self tappers, which you can see coming through right there holding it. So I'm getting ready to stick this one on and run my wires through, guys. So, woohoo! Easily line it up into place. There you go. We got Dustin's daughter, Kenzie, reconing a tweeter. She's doing the diaphragm in it. We got a son, Hunter, here hanging out. That's right. And guys, this is what it's about right here. These are the future base heads. This kid, look at how he's dressed. He gotta get all the women when he gets older. That kid, he's already a little Mac Daddy. But yeah, check this out. This is kind of stuff everybody likes to see. Kids doing all the base head stuff. Don't tighten that when you get all four stars. Come on. See, he's teaching her how to do the first one. And then the second one over there, she just do it all by herself. Yeah. But yeah, let me get back on my doors. So it's in, and like I was saying, in there in the darkness, you can't see the bad spots. And I have shut the door, it clears, but if you go back and watch the video where I started making these, where I taped the door up, you know, I had the door shut with tape all over it and I took a, a sharpie all along here and started with that line where I knew it would fit but I'll be back guys I've been working we got speakers in tweeters are hooked up mids are hooked up we stripped the wires back here where I had them ran to and used the little pack module that uh yeah that little thing there it actually sends a signal through the wires so we can make sure both are working good. And I did have to cut out the original factory grill. So on here, I'm going to have to go in and cut this out. It's because of how far it dips in. Like speaker wouldn't go in, but no problem. We use that little thing there with the door panel on it, just whipped it right out. So... <laughs> I'm getting ready to do this side, and then we got to put this big, bad Hayaka, 2,000 watts, hell no. This thing's about 120 per channel, hopefully, which will be perfect. That's all I'm expecting, and we'll, yeah, we'll throw it back there. I brought some wire and everything to put it in, so got that old down for sound. I love their wire, the down for sound 4 gauge. I should be able to put it right up here. On top of that, I should have enough wire to run back to it. So, yeah, I think when I ran the wire, I ran it out past the bumper. So, it should be plenty of wire to get from back there up here. Yeah, we should be good. And, yeah, I got all the wire here on both sides. RCAs are there. So, but getting the doors done is just a big pain in the ass part. But I'll be back. She's already moved on from tweeters. She's done like four tweeters so far, guys. This is her second horn. Yeah, now she's on the horns. And at this point, you ain't got to tell her shit. She knows exactly what to do. She knows what side to put positive on. She just rolls with it. Future base heads right there. Leave it there, and you can set the cap off and move Like on. most people let their kids, you know, roll the base knob every once in a while or whatever. Over here, we're just like the hell with it. We can get them reconing subs. She'll be reconing subs before long. Oh, she's gonna jump on them seats right there? Yeah, she, she'll be reconing subs with us in here, so. There you go. But yeah, she's on it. Gotta make it to lose, cause I fought and felt the bruise. Now I'm not the one to choose, cause the sharks that they produce. I ain't boss, I'm finding this. Pick a new subvert, she's funny, the abuse, the pussy, true, and new abuse of being used. Everybody wants a piece now. Don't go rest in peace. Okay, guys, so the little Hayanka 4 channel, I, I have more gain left to turn it up. We just kind of turned it up to everything sounded really good and clean. These little Celestion. Mids with a tweeter built in the center. They are sounding awesome, guys. I'm not even going to lie. 
Like they are sounding awesome. So, yeah, all in all, I think they look good in there. Dang. The black on black, I had to do it, you know me, but just a quick, cheese, cheap, easy little <laughs> door pod with a little, a little curve to it, you know. I didn't want to go like flat looking, but I took the big blue amp out. I didn't have enough speaker wire and it's got to be sent in for repair anyway. So right now I just have this in here, but uh, I'm gonna put the two 5Ks back in and they'll fit like one here, one here. I might do that tomorrow depending upon weather, but guys for 80, $89 on Amazon. So like right at 90 bucks. If you need a four channel, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that it is doing, though, I believe 120 per channel it said it would. But, and the Celestion mids, if you just want to be different than everybody, you know, I'll show you the part number on them. That's the part number for these mids. They're 8 ohm mids, but they sound good. I listened to a bunch of different songs and then I had to play the Nefect song because it's royalty free or copyright free. But I even only had two screws holding them in because I was just kind of like trying to get them in here. But anyway, and this is the number of the Hayaka amp. Uh, the amp says it's a TA-484, I don't know. So I probably got it at four ohm. It says 80 by four at four ohm. I think it might be doing a hair more than that because that's where I would have it at. Because they're eight on mids, I got two per channel, so. But anyway, I'm happy with the old Hayaka. I'm happy with the Celestion mids. And then Dustin got all his new speakers in and this thing is stupid loud. Like he got a stunt wall in his damn door, so. Say what's up, Zach. What up, what up, dog? <laughs> But yeah, there's a bunch of people here just kind of hanging out today for Basehead Sunday. Anyway, I need to pack all this stuff up. But yeah. Anyway, guys, that's kind of my video for today. Is I got all this in and it sounds great to me. So, okay, so I am home from Dustin's. I got to drive Julian, the black Jeep, home and listen to the door speakers. And guys, I, man. Uh, you can, I think you can get them mids from Celestion's website. I'm not sure. Uh, I know Dustin's a distributor for a, you know, he's a dealer for them, but you're talking like an under $40 mid and the sound quality of them, dude, they just, they sound like a sound quality speaker. They sound like awesome. I was hearing shit and songs that I normally listen to that I really haven't heard before. The tweeter in them is like sounding perfect. The mid sounding perfect. I did, uh, on the way home, I crossed the mid over at like 70 hertz. Uh, you know, I, they're playing it fine. They're way louder than what I thought they were going to be, you know, in the Jeep with the door shut. So, uh, needless to say, I'm very impressed with them. I actually just called Dustin to tell him how much more I'm impressed with him. The Hayaka amp. <laughs> and I do have it wired. Like I'm using two channels of the amps uh, of the amp on all four mids. The other two channels are on the tweeters so I can adjust the levels of them individually. But guys, that little Hayaka amp for a $90 amp. I am like thoroughly impressed. Um, I did have some people on the Hayanka unboxing video like, oh, I don't know if I would trust hooking that up to my speakers. Guys, the thing is awesome. And that might be another variable into why the uh, mids and highs sound so good. Is this a Class B amp? Now, I, I did make a mistake. It says it's 90 by 4 at 4 ohm. RMS at like 13 point eight i think votes uh i am running at 16 i'm just gonna tell you that off top but the, the thing's got to be doing more than 90 watts i mean it, it sounds really good and loud you know i i originally was just putting the amp in there to do the video on it and i was probably gonna pull it 
and throw like a VFL I have or a DS18 4 channel in there, I'm going to leave it in there. The Black Jeep's always been a budget build for you guys. You know that. I wanted to do a budget build for you guys out there that have to do shit on a budget. So I, I started as a budget build. Probably the only thing in there that's not really budget at this point is the C-Max. Uh, you know, even the alternator is an alternator that went bad on my blue Jeep that I took to an alternator repair shop, had fixed and put on there. So it's like a secondhand alternator. But the C-Max, yes, I did build the C-Max for it. Other than that, everything's budget. So why the hell not leave a $90 four channel in it? <laughs> right? Uh, tomorrow, if it's not raining, because it's raining now, uh, I plan on sticking the two 5Ks back in there and just letting it eat, guys. You know, I mean, it had, it, it was pretty loud. Um, so I'll put them back in. And then after that, I might do a little shrinking on that enclosure. Uh, maybe take up a half cube out of it and see if that helps it get louder or not. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at right now. So hopefully the next piece of this video here in a couple of seconds, it'll be tomorrow. And we're back on Monday. And I spent the majority of the morning mowing my damn yard. It was like bell and hay. <laughs> like literally it was like between my ankle and knee. I, I definitely need to get a battery for that thing. Um, yeah, cash app, Jerry ain't loud. You know, dollar sign, Jerry ain't loud. Uh, take battery donations, but got Jaeger up there. Sometimes he pisses on my wheels. And that damn dog, okay, making sure he ain't trying to, you ain't trying to piss on a wheel, are you? All right, but yeah, I got the five Ks. Just me and Deb just literally got them bolted in. I got rid of them damn furniture pads they're kind of worthless uh but these doors guys i know i mean them speakers sound so so good i took this thing out for coffee this morning and i'm gonna have to tell you i was uh, impressed again like hold on let me turn around. like literally i know i said it yesterday and i say it again this cheap ass ab $90 amplifier and them speakers. I mean, Dustin said, I think they're like 40 bucks a pop. So under 250, I have like an amazing sound quality front stage. And I'm, I'm saying sound quality compared to like Jangalang, uh, can't get right. Just, I don't know if it's this amp or the speakers or a combination of the two. But they just have like a good warmth. Almost like an old tube amplifier would sound. Uh, but yeah, thoroughly impressed. Ayaka did a great job on this little lamp. I mean, it's a budget banger for real. And the tin that, that I got from them. I mean, you know, I did a free air in here. Clamped 2000 to it. And it took it. Dustin... He built a sixth order for it, and it was literally moving hair in his uh, extended cab Tacoma. So it wasn't hair tricking all the way, but it was moving hair. So Hayanka's making some pretty good budget shit. You know, I didn't have very high hopes for this amplifier, but it's definitely proved me wrong. And I was wrong. It don't take four gauge down here. It literally takes eight. I put four in it. <laughs> You know, just keep cutting some of the strands of wire away till it fit in. That's what I did. But um, anyway, guys, that's enough rambling on. I, uh, at this point, I really need to get these amps hooked up. And I'm not even 100% sure I have enough speaker wire to hook them up. Yeah. I know I got enough speaker wire to hook this one up. But I used a piece to bridge the two connections on the box on the front side. And I don't know if it's enough to come from there, around here, underneath it, into here. We're going to find out. But if nothing else, I'll get as far as I can today. Um, just wanting to do some, some more before I finish this video out. So I'm going to try to get some of this shit hooked up, guys. I'll be back. 
that don't look great, but it's As good. As always, I got the awesome ass Debbie helping me today. Uh, we're getting there, guys. <laughs> so I got the speakers hooked up. I had to separate them on the back side of the enclosure. I got power wires hooked up. They're still braided. Um, Sarskia here is kind of a mess. Um, that big four channel flat job. It's just an ugly RCA, but it's T-Spec and it's budget. For the amps, they only have one single input. I'm using the old new concepts. These are out of the first build I did in there. And guys, for a budget RCA, you cannot go wrong with new concepts. These cables, they're the, uh, I don't even say, uh, clarity cable. Yeah, it says clarity cable. Got, they were like $7 a set. And they're still kicking. <laughs> they are still kicking. They've been amazing for a, a cheap uh, RCA cable. Remember, this is all budget. These are DS18 full bridge amps that I had left over from my doors in Jangalang when I had two of them big Neo 10s from DS18 in there. I had one per door on two 10s. So... Guys, this system in here, like I said, it's a uh, budget and it's built with hand-me-down shit. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Hit pawn shops or whatever you got to do, but we're just going to try to get it back playing, guys. Uh, I got to send the big amp in. And it did get down pretty good with these. It just wasn't moving hair, but uh, I think I'm going to go back and put some 2 before in the bottom of this enclosure I think I got too much airspace. I mean, I got what they call for, but I think it's too much. Uh, you know, a lot of these subs that are just uh, built in Chinese build houses, I'm not dissing Audio Ace at all, but when you get these just regular like JLD build house subs off the shelf, the, the sheet that comes with them, it ain't always right. They're just guessing at shit, you know. But anyway... I got to hook up some RCA wires, hook the amps up to the battery, set the gains, and hopefully she'll be playing. Okay, I got everything in. I set the gains on these bad boys. Um, oh, dude, they're, they're weird. Because they're only 5Ks, but I was getting like 115 volts out of them without a clip light. With a 40 hertz tone, so. Um, yeah, it's weird. And that was like that last time too, but I set each one at 100 volts clean. Like no clip light, no nothing. Never saw a clip light, so we're at 100 volts. Volume 30 on the head unit. I'll probably play it at volume 28. But on music, you know, who knows what to do. So yeah, we got everything in here. Subs are working again. The wiring is a little messy through here since adding a mids and highs amp, but... I'm going to call this done, 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 and guys, uh, thank you all for watching, and the guys that's using my uh, Down for Sound affiliate link, thank you guys, I had to get out of sun a minute, and the guys that buy my merch, I wear this shit out this hat, it's my favorite hat, not just because it has my logo on it, it's just a good fitting hat, but um, anyway, uh, yeah, I've had a busy day. Got the yard mode, got the subs playing again in the black Jeep. So from this point, I don't know, it's been a busy weekend with the black Jeep, but I'm happy with the doors. They sound amazing, guys. And like I said before, for a $250 uh, setup, you can't go wrong. You know, um, anyway. <laughs> Jangle Lang still ain't got no alternator. Still ain't heard from Mike Singer, so... Who knows? He got it huh? He got it Wednesday. Yeah, we know he got it Wednesday, but oh, I ain't heard anything. But anyway, you know. Oh, I don't even know if I was on screen. Anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoy the video. And I'm sorry I didn't get like the complete door build in one video. I kind of built them pods as like filler in between big stuff and. You know, if you go, there's a playlist on here for the black Jeep. So if you go on that playlist and skim through the videos, you can kind of see 
a start to finish on the door pods. You know, they wasn't really hard to make. I think anybody could do it if they just follow what I did. There's lots of different ways to build doors. I try to, to do what's easiest for me, but you can just kind of take what I did, put your own twist on it if you want to, but those doors have not been sanded. Literally, you know, I made the fiberglass back piece, the wood front, covered it all in fleece when I put it together with a dowel rod and hot glue. But I put it all together with the fleece and I resined it. I went back on the inside of it and stiffened it up with chop mat. And from that point on, I did not sand them at all. I just painted the outside of them and went with it. They would look a hundred times better if I would sand them. With me just painting them black with cheap spray paint, they look like they've been like raptor lined or something, bed lined. But anyway, you don't have to stop there. You could sand them, maybe do a skim coat of Bondo, whatever, and make really nice door pods. I don't give a shit with a black Jeep. It's a budget build for you guys, you know. Trying to see if we can build a nice system on a budget, I believe we have. So anyway, I'm going to cut it there so I can, it's, you know, it's my Monday. So I got to edit this thing and get it uploaded. But hope y'all enjoy. Um, would y'all like to see more base head Sunday shit at Dustin's shop? That's the question. Because be we've been doing that quite a bit here recently. He's been doing some filming he did yesterday for his YouTube channel, which is uh, just ducking around, I think. But anyway, guys, peace out. And as always, base on.